ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Firefly Gaming here. Now, I'm going to be showcasing some more of my server, Chicago Illinois Roleplay. As you can kind of see, the PlayStation looks different in the back. Well, I'm using my cop character that I'm going to be using here for the server. This is Mickey Rose. If you remember me as the days of Mickey Rose 95, I chose that name for this cop character and when I had it as my YouTube. But, you know, things with the wrestling industry and Bray Wyatt and, you know, me wanting to, you know, keep his legacy going on i love the things that he done i love wrestling you know i love gaming those are one of my two favorite passions alongside with music but i didn't want to add nothing to do with music in here because if i was it would have been productions and no this ain't where i'm making my music if you want to go follow that i'll have the link down in the description below region rap productions that's where i make my music but you know I love wrestling, I liked Bray Wyatt, I loved everything he did in the ring, so Firefly, obviously, I'm one of his Fireflies, you know, I keep the light lit, you know, here on this channel, and you know, and then obviously gaming, so, you know, but Mickey Rose 95 you know, was a nickname that I once uh, went by, you know, here, because basically that's what people used to call me and whatnot, but as we uh, walk away from this PlayStation real quick before we go inside and do some showcasing on some of the things that I've done here to this, uh, server and whatnot which there was a lot of things i had to get rid of and fix and you know there's a lot of cars that once was in the game that's not in the game no more that you know it sucks but you know we got the free medical still we we took the you know the top off the medical we even took the uh, uh top off of an expansion for you know the fire station down there um i plan on getting a new fire station down there soon um Probably not this month, um, I already spent some money and got some things this month, you know. And obviously it's gonna take a, it's gonna take its time. Especially if I'm the only one doing it. Now if my broadcast partner, my brother, goddammit Danny, which he used the O2 of this already decides, you know what, when we go camping or bring my computer over to his house, you know, to show him some things and whatnot that I have done physically and whatnot, and, you know, I still have want him to use his card for me to you know buy me something that i physically can't buy because my card doesn't want to be accepted for any reason so you know it is what it is and he'll be able to get that for me which is basically a little script that's only like 15 dollars that i found uh, it's going to replace the broken uh car hood with the gas and all that so we could have something better that doesn't keep shutting off on us you know and something that will tell us our feel and everything and you know but yeah, so we got a lot of uh, the same mods back in, as you saw Chuck Livingston's car just came past, you know, the Bel Air and whatnot, you know, but um, yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of things that were DLCs that me and my brother were adding into the server the other day, and I had to get rid of a lot of those. Now, there is a lot that we still got, but there was a lot that was, you know, some cool ones, even some drag ones I had to get rid of, one of them being a new little buggy and whatnot, but and this is uh the main office of the police station and whatnot before i go in that back room let's go over here so basically you have uh you know the change room and whatnot you come in here get your clothes on you know get your uniform and whatnot you know you got a shower or whatnot and there's only one shower you know but you know i guess like if um, if you're not afraid you know you, you can share that water with someone i guess you know i mean i'm not sure i would do that you know but you know yeah, if you're in a, if you're in a crunch, you gotta get 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 gotta get in the force, you know, or you just got off duty and you're and someone's already in there. Hey man, you mind if we share, you know, share the stall real quick and you spray me down? I don't care, you know. I just real quick, you know. <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess, you know. But this is the back, you know. And then as you see, there's an upstairs. This takes you out to uh, a parking um, structure. Now this did not come with the uh, police station that I got. This is basically an expansion free add-on that puts a parking structure here, which is, you know, pretty cool, you know. So, we could park our cars here now. If I could, you know, find like a small little paved section there and have that paved in and whatnot, or find someone that, hey, can you download this mod, add the map, and put like a paved section there or something? That'd be pretty cool. But this is the upstairs room, you know, basically be up here, people, you know, FBI or whatever, or, you know, investigators whatever the ones that you know do all the investigative work get all the files go through them and try to you know crack the case you know and then you got the main office you know my office type deal you know technically i'd be there you know physically i'm the old one i'm the highest ranking officer here this is my server so that'd be my room but obviously then again 
I wouldn't say physically at an RP because I'm pretty sure that there's just a cop that physically stays at the station all day, you know. And then he does all the meetings and all, all, all the boring stuff, you know, where the cops are patrolling. And I wouldn't say, I mean, it's fun to patrol because you could die any day. <laughs> but, you know, it's better than, I guess, sitting at the desk or, you know, sitting in the room. But you come down here, you know with the downstairs area you got your little gun room and whatnot which is pretty cool so you need to get your guns get your guns you know then obviously you come back here more of an evidence type room you know so nice little area over here and then you got your maid cart right there for people that clean up in this place you know then you come over here and this is where it starts getting to where you know we would do more of our business if we're coming down here so obviously this is the room where obviously we could look through and see and obviously the other side is you know the room where you would uh get interrogated and whatnot now we are going to go in the other room and i, I want to warn you that the mirror may not look 100 percent legit when i turn the camera and look certain ways as you'll see it kind of does that um where it changes the color in this room that i was told it's my mve doing that so I could get rid of it or keep it, and I'm not getting rid of it, so I'll keep it, but, you know, that's the room where we do our interrogations at. This is where we're going to come take your um, pretty asses in to get your pretty little picture taken, you know, make you stand forward, left, right, in the back, you know, get, get all shots of you, you know, and then, and then when we're done, we're going to take your ass and drag your ass down to one of these cells, and, you know, you're going to be in one of these cells, you know, the only thing I don't like about these cells is obviously... Yes, they are uh, automatic doors now. If you let them close, if the civilian comes over here and they're in cuffs, we can tell them to turn around and uncuff them. But, I mean, obviously, don't. I mean, if you're going to RP that you're standing here, I mean, the door's going to open. No, it's not open. You got an RP that's still shut. I wish it wasn't these styles of doors, but to be honest with you, it's different, you know? When do you see doors that are sliding doors? It's usually the ones that you got to open. But I like this PlayStation a little bit better because it's basically the generic MLO of the what GTA decided to put here as a building. It adds on to it, changes the inside a little, adds an upstairs, adds a basement. It's better in my eyes, you know. But this is a pretty cool little MLO. And then we are going to go back up to the top. And before we leave, and go show you some other f cool things and few things, you know, that I added and whatnot here to the server. Which it ain't much that I added, but, you know, I've been doing a lot of work trying to get all this to work after getting it in the server with the stuff I got. So basically, as you see um, down below, I used to have a little script where it told you all the LEO on, all the EMS on, and all the fire that could be on, you know. I got rid of that script, and I basically got a new script. So basically, if we go... T slash 911. Now, obviously, if I'm going to make a 911 call, I mean, I'm not going to do it here, but I would obviously put, you know, the postcode in. So I would obviously go 911 and then I'd like blah, 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 whatever it is, and then postcode. And then afterwards, I would hit enter. But we're going to do help. And that's all we're going to do is help just to showcase what this is all about so when we hit enter you see in the corner and hopefully i still gotta set the visible which i think i do you're gonna see in the corner it's gonna say um emergency services you're gonna see an incoming call now obviously anyone in the server is going to see that our 911 call is going to be made i mean it is what it is you know but i mean if they want to go to that scene and see what's going on yeah they can if there's cops on duty we're going to tell them to get off you know but this will be for when the civilians need to make a 911 call so obviously it tells you um like alhambra drive so you know okay and it says help now in the last one it gave you a postcode and i didn't really care for that just like if you look down below where the nearest postal is it's got 294 and obviously if we go pause the map you can see this is where we need to go but where we are nowhere near 294 where, where do you see 294 now i got rid of the mod of the nearest postcode but when i got rid of the nearest postcode mod it got rid of all the postcodes on the map so that really didn't make any sense to be honest with you so i added it back in 
and my postcodes are back on the map. So obviously, someone makes a 911 call, it's going to give you the road, it's going to tell you, I'll have a drive, and obviously, you know, the civilian's going to put the, when they make the 911 call, they're going to put wherever they're at, even if they kind of don't, and they forget to do it, okay, you got the 911 call, okay, it's going to be in the computer database system on the RPA, so pause your game, and once you pause your game, say you're over here, you're like, okay, 911 call. It's, I'm on 60 or whatever, or I'm over there on the dirt roads, you know, I'm like, hmm, Alhambra. Okay, I know Alhambra is in Sandy, okay, here's the, okay, so he's got to be somewhere around here. And obviously, you're just going to put a waypoint, because this will disappear after a while, and you'll put the waypoint, and then you'll drive over here to the area, you know, and then you'll do what your 911 call so that's how 911 calls are going to be made for fire ems and leo departments which i believe is a little bit better than the one i had before yes the only thing i liked about the one i had before that i'm going to say is it told you how many leo are on and it told you exactly you know this and that you know what in the departments and if say i wasn't on and i made that 911 call it would tell me there's no ilio active on duty but i think that was another thing that was kind of glitching with this uh sheriff station since it's updated because the room that you needed to go activate your uh um little circle and hit e to activate that you are part of uh the ilio uh it was kind of like not legit but we are going to go into f2 mode and we are going to go showcase some other things real quick. So obviously, one thing we're going to showcase is you guys probably know about my bar already. But if you don't, this is my bar. So as we go in, you know, this is what it looks like. It spawns a lot of people here. Sometimes it's more female than male ratio in here. Sometimes it's a little mixture of both. Sometimes you may come in and it's just all males. Now, obviously, some of the things that they're doing, like leaning and stuff, like, eh, it may not look legit. And this was my bar out of RP that I was going to use for server, but I love this bar, and I'm not getting rid of it. It's still going to stay here. There's just, there's no TV in here. So, I got a TV script, and I could play TV. Yes, we could play pool, so I can come over here and, like, okay, I want to play pool, you know. But, you know, obviously, okay, I want to listen to music. I can't do so, and... Yes, I did find like a script that was supposed to turn jukeboxes on or whatever, or make these work or whatever, but obviously it didn't work. So maybe I could find another script that will get it to work, but that's my bar. But if we continue, and we're going to go down this way. Now, obviously, I'm not going to put myself in fast mode because I want you all to see all these amazing lights that are out here in uh, Sandy Shores now. So when it gets nighttime, it looks pretty cool. But this is another place right here. And only problem with this place is with my MVE, it messes up with the windows. The windows don't want to look legit, you know. And, you know, I seen this on uh, GTA 5 mods, so it was free. But then I actually found the real developer, not the guy that uploaded it to GTA 5 mods. And he told me somebody decided to buy this mod and decided you know what well, let's upload this where i found it and on the one that's on gta it's a y map the one that i have it's a stream and there is no y map so yeah it just someone decided hey this ain't my mod we're going to take it and we're going to go upload it i want everyone to have their access to have this no yes there's not 100 percent legitness of this as i say I got MVE, so it, makes, uh, ugh, it messes with the textures in here, which there's nothing I could do about that. I mean, if I was running not MVE, which I've done this already, I in uninstalled my graphics mod. And I came to a lot of the interiors that, you know, didn't look legit for me, and they look fine, you know. But, you know, obviously, you know, let's see is this tv on no, i don't think we can use this tv here at this mlo but you know obviously you know there's cool things about this mlo and whatnot but the textures definitely not uh cool especially with my MVE. but there's nothing i can do about that and with this i can't do nothing about that it's got a stupid ball on the table i can care less about the pool cue hanging on the side right there that's fine but the ball on the table i could physically go over here I want to play some pool, I'm at this MLO, you know, I set it up, that ball's going to stay there, so no matter what, if I wanted to hit this ball, it's going to go straight through it, even though the arrow says, and it's going to go straight through it, 
so. That's the only other sucky thing about this MLO. But other than that, it's a really cool MLO. But if it wasn't for my graphics, you know, being iffy, and you know what, with this MLO, because I have updated textures and updated graphics, you know, this place would look pretty decent in my eyes. But with my eyes being upgraded, the windows kind of look a little unlegit, you know. So it just, it is what it is. But then if you go upstairs, you got some cool things that are up here as well. So if we come in here, you got like a little eating area up here, you know. And then you come in here, you got a bedroom, which is pretty cool. And then you got a bathroom and does the TV and camera. Uh, no signal. Yep, those TVs work, but the TV downstairs doesn't work. Which, yeah, it's fine. I wouldn't be really using the TVs here because when you're using multiple TVs, now I know with two TVs, if they're close to each other, they will kind of work. But when you add more, it just, it gets iffy. So, but yeah, other than that, if we uh, go in this last room right here, this is basically another bedroom. And those two are basically identical bedrooms. And this one's got your whole entire shower and bat bathroom and whatnot over there for this bedroom. And yeah. Which is uh, pretty cool, but as I say, a little issues with the textures, and this is the exit to get us out of here, but, you know, a little issues with the textures, but that's because of my graphics, you know, nothing I could do about that, I mean, I could, but, you know, I'm not, you know, <laughs> and then last but not least, before I get on with showing you some of the new things that are here, let's go through some of this, now I'm just going to go here, we are here at the Scott Valley uh, MLO, which basically is a the same MLO but obviously it's a little bit different because these people have their I guess logos in here and shit which I don't know how to take any of that out um if, if I knew I would but you know it's home of the pikes you can't play pool here because the asshole decided whoever made this oh I'm gonna do a custom pool table I'm gonna be different well the GTA logic does not read that as a pool table so you can't play pool here yes you can grab a pool cue doesn't work and then obviously over here, Dave's been replaced with some other guy, you know. I guess that guy drinks more than what Dave does. And he is the freak, freak, ugh, frequent guy that comes in here more often than what Dave does and out drinks a motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, this is a pretty cool place, you know, still. I mean, obviously there's pictures and things change. Got someone locked up back here. Sorry, lady. It's not none of my business why they got you locked up. I know I'm on, I know I'm on duty right now, but you know. I'm busy doing other things, you know, so, and you didn't call 911 anyway, so I can't help you, for all I know, you, you chose to go in there, that's your problem, <laughs> but yeah, as we go up here, we got the upstairs, you know, more pictures of people and shit, you know, you got the home of the Pikes, uh, meeting room right there, you know, then you come out here, you know, obviously, just like how Scott Valley was, you got a nice little chill area and whatnot, and you could, you know, climb up here and you know got a nice little chill area up here and then as you saw in the distance uh, you saw a boat over there so let's go show you what those boats are so we're going on to the next MLO or I should say MLOs because all around uh, the lake now not everywhere around the lake it cuts off going that way towards Deb City and then it cuts off somewhere like towards over there but mo mostly around the whole entire lake even Grapeseed you're gonna find these boats these boats right here and not all are going to be identical i mean most of them are going to be identical but you're going to come into ones that are like this so this is basically the first boat so obviously yeah the doors are a little small in my opinion i think they should have been you know, built a little bigger but you know it is what it is they probably just modeled you know whatever they could model off of a gta boat and turn this into like interior but you know you got your little bathroom you know um got your little tv which this tv i think is cool because it, it plays like up and at and plays all gta stuff like commercials can't change that tv that tv stays the same you know but basically you know like this tv i could put youtube or whatever on listen to music and do what i gotta do you know but yeah so you got that one right there and then you know they're they are not all the same there are some that are different so this one may be the same but i just gotta figure out you know to see which one so Yes, this one is the same as the last one we, sh we we showed you. But then if you come down here, this one is obviously going to be different. So we come in here. As you see, 
this is the main door so this one's even got a downstairs so this is like your main area but then you come down here and you got your downstairs area clothing area big bathtub you know which is is pretty nice it's a nice herb and you got a bigger TV but there is one more that is different than those two that I showed you so obviously if we keep coming down this way as I say you are not going to run into any other one so if we keep on going down the shorelines as you see there is no more and I thought there should have been some down here I thought that would have been cool like adding some over here I get it it's kind of like eh, out of the out of the area out of the way I guess you know but you know having some over because there is a dirt road that goes along this you know but then it picks up with the boats coming back right here now this is where you're gonna well, not legit some things like the spawn here and plus I'm f 2 ing really fast and it's not liking that whatsoever and that door is open I'm not sure if it's supposed to stay open like that maybe it's supposed to maybe this one is okay this one is basically the same as uh, the other ones um, let's go to this one I think this is the one that's different I know one of these have a different inside is it this one yeah I think it's this one yep so you come in here basically this is what the other interior looked like for this uh, boat house and I thought that it was a restaurant when I when I when I could have swore when I read the description it was talking about a restaurant but I'm cool that their houses you know it adds all these around the whole entire you know map you know so obviously that's the last one and after that they all would basically replace and duplicate each other you know so but then you got two there which I thought about, you know, the two that are over here. That's by the bait shop and whatnot. I was like, hmm. I was like, I might get rid of the house that I chose for myself. That's in that small area, you know. I might choose one of these bow houses, you know. I think that's pretty cool, you know. Different. And then Dickie could have the one right next to me. Although, you know, Dickie's house, the one that he had in Scott Valley, I have that one in here, you know. Um, I thought that was cool. Now, another thing that um, I'm kind of salty about, and I'm not going to stay too salty because I did that with Walmart, and when I did that with Walmart, then like two, three weeks later, I find out that the image was wrong. It showed Walmart being out in the county. That's where Walmart was once in Indiana State Roleplay that I played in, and I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to have Walmart out in the county. That's fine. That's going to be the, like the only real legit building that I have, I guess, you know. I couldn't find it. I even yelled and talk crap to the guys saying that's bs like i buy something that doesn't work they're trying to say i don't know how to install the mod i was like i know what i'm doing i even had a developer that's been doing this stuff since the beginning days of uh gtrp he said eh. he was like it's in it even says it's running and for all i know it could be anywhere on this map so it it, it could be anywhere i don't know where but it it could be anywhere where is it at i have no idea but the image shows that water tower and I'll leave a link to that video too in the description for you guys to see. But it leave, the guy doesn't even show around the area like this. He doesn't do this. He just basically shows walking in. But you can kind of see that water tower. Which in the name of the freaking um, mod is the name of this arcade place. Which is weird. So that's the only thing that's not there. But as I say, then again, it could be anywhere else, you know. Which, you know, it could walmart was and i was like damn really it's out in you know the city well that's not what the image showed and then you know the, the developer that was helping me develop he said huh he was like yeah you're right and he's like i don't know he was like hmm makes sense i guess or doesn't it doesn't make sense uh, i don't know <laughs> but as you see this is a sandy at night so as you see sandy as they say it does got street lights everywhere so it adds vibrant texture to sandy which is pretty cool but the last thing I'm going to show you before, you know, I hop off and sign off on this video, which I showed you the majority of the new things I added. There is one last thing that I did add. So, obviously, you know, I'm going to pull out a cop car before I go to that location. So, we're going to go to vehicle spawner, saved, we're gonna go emergency, we're just going to pull out, um, yeah, let's get one of my old... Let's get, let's get the, 
Uh, is it that one I want? This one. Yeah, I'll take this one. Okay, I just noticed that I don't got my LUC in right now, which I have that turned off right now. That's fine. I'll put that back in later, you know, but come over here, obviously. And this is a drag strip. So, one thing about this drag strip that I will tell you about, which kind of sucks, um, there's a folder I have that came with a drag strip, and it's supposed to make these lights work. Now, I throw the folder in, it, and I hit start, and it doesn't start. I hit start, it doesn't start. I don't know why it doesn't start, but it doesn't start. So basically, these lights are supposed to work, but they don't work. Another thing that's a little glitchy about this uh, place, nothing else disappears. But time to time, I'll come to the drag strip, that, which I've been noticing. It could be because I'm F2ing, and I'm coming here really fast, trying to make everything load in. Which I was told, you know, even though I've seen other people do it in the past, the developer said, drive around, don't F2, because when you F2, you got yourself in fast mode, and when you find something, you'll see at the bottom of your screen, it'll say downloading, and then it can't download what it needs to download, because then you could be getting into something else that it needs to download, and it's trying to download all this crap, then it just crashes you, and then you're going to keep crashing because you messed up your configurations, and you got to go delete your catch, got to start over, you know, it's just ridiculous, you know. So, this is pretty cool. Now, OCRP did use this, and one thing that, you know, kind of sucks, you know, and is a little bit irritating is, I thought they had, like, some building here. It was, like, one of those, uh, you know, where the announcers are, and, and they're announcing, okay, the red drag car is going up against the blue drag car, and they're off, and it looks like, and they got the cameras, you know, so they can see what's going on the drag strip, you know. And then they go, bam, and they could put, you know, use their computers and whatnot to, you know, turn on, you know, the numbers of how far you came down the track trip, how fast, you know. Obviously, you know, it's not going to be what they had, I guess, you know, but majority of it is. So all this, they did have that there. I'm pretty sure I thought they would have had more, although they do have like a prop menu, so they could have just put a lot of props and added more, you know, but I could have swore they had more to add there you know um that building once again but yeah so we got a drag strip here you know it, it goes down pretty far so you know i just fell down good thing i didn't die my guy needs to get up get in the car and let's change the weather and all that I could kind of tell that I am lagging for some reason. I don't know why I wasn't lagging earlier. Um, yeah, it, it had to have been because of the weather or something, because now I'm not lagging. Yeah, I don't know why I was lagging. That's weird. But yeah, we come down here, basically this is, you know, the drag strip and whatnot, you know. And when you get to that white line, obviously, that's when you would be, you know, slowing it down. Because, you know, that white line, that's the end of it. Where I've seen people, you know, and, and not just an OCRP, but, yeah, a, a little bit of OCRP. Like, obviously, you know, like, okay, you were trying to see whose car is faster. But, obviously, once you get to this white line, most drag cars are going over 150. You know, and when you're going over 150, once you pass this white line... That's when you want to let go of the gas and quit hitting the gas. But I've seen some people, you know, basically go, oh, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. And then they hit that, you know, and it's not legit, you know. But then obviously, you know, this is familiar, what I remember in OSTRP, what they had, but you get your ticket booth, you know, get your numbers. Ah, uh, damn, I didn't run on seven. Man, this thing's slow, man. I told Chicago they need to... You know, give me a booster bag next time, you know. But obviously, it's just, you know, this is where you're not going to be, you know, flooring it, you know. You're obviously going to go at a decent speed and, you know, travel back, you know. Because this is, you know, this ain't the racing, this ain't the strip, you know. This is just you're traveling back, you know. 
you already raced a strip, you know? Which is pretty cool. But yeah, so... I mean, obviously... There's a lot of changes that I've been making, and I'm still gonna keep on making changes, you know? Obviously, you see that I don't got, like, my uh, lights turned on and all that in the server yet, because there's a lot of things I'm re-adding back to the server and, you know, fixing, but, you know, obviously, you know, got a lot of cool things, you know, so, yeah, other than that, you know, I hope you all liked what I had to show you, and I'll be showing you some more cool, amazing things that I'm doing here to the server. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos to drop here on this server and, you know, in Scott Valley and whatnot, you know, and I'll see you all next time.